Okay. Hi, everybody. Just uh, mostly just checking in because I haven't been making any videos for a while. There's been a lot going on, a whole lot. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am in the desert now in Arizona making videos in a camper trailer in the desert. Hmm, does that sound familiar? <laughs> it kind of cracks me up. I find it to be quite providential, actually. But uh, anyways, this is our cute little abode at the, for the moment. It's very small, but it's perfectly adequate, and I'm totally thrilled to be able to um, be in it. And uh, thank you, Miss Tracy and Bernese, for giving us the ability to use it while we're here. I really appreciate that. But uh, I was going to uh, fire up my tablet and read some stuff that is uh, also that I had electronically, but my tablet is misbehaving, so I'm just going to go for it without without it. I've got some notes. Nothing super significant. Um, well, that's not true. It is really significant, but it seems like I'm just beating the whole, you know, the dead horse over and over again, but I just keep learning deeper lessons and deeper levels of these things that we have been hearing, you know, for a long time. So it's a really good day. Today is the 15th of August, which one plus five is six, which is three, three, which is Christ consciousness and also Yeshua. So it's a really good day to be doing this. I'm happy about that. Um, anyways, I would like to uh, start out with this. It's just, it's basically about love. And I mean, you know, oh, geez, love. Okay. You know, how boring, right? Everybody knows about that. But what is this thing that Yeshua spoke of so masterfully and spoken riddles of so masterfully? And if you're curious about that, go read the book of John. It's the best testament to his his information as well as the book of Thomas that's in um, the Nakamadi scriptures as well. will really give you insight as to the mastery of this man and his ability to speak in parables and tell you deep, deep truths. But these were baby crumbs that we heard, you know, for us that, that were dogmatically Christian raised or, you know, anybody who just heard about, you know, pretty much everybody knows who Jesus is, right? So we heard these things and they just seemed sort of like baby steps and breadcrumbs and they really were, they were good. But this thing is so much bigger and so much deeper than we understand. Love its true form. In our natural meat suit, we have this thing that happens to all of us. Me too. And I'm sure that even somebody who has got, you know, things pretty well mastered would, you know, would even admit that their flesh still cries out for this. And, you know, they can quiet it down and it's over with, but it still happens. We have this thing inside of us that always says, defend myself, defend myself. And it doesn't matter how hard you try to not have that happen. It still comes up because it's hardwired through our meat suits. All of us have it. It's an implant. It's a program. It's to ensure that we have conflict with each other. Because if I'm looking about me, if I'm thinking, well, what about my hurt feelings? What about the thing that happened to me? Who's going who's gonna to take care of this thing inside of me? I feel offended. I feel hurt. Then we're going to have conflict. Because the minute that you seek self, there's going to be conflict. Because guess what? You're staring at another meat suit that also has that same wiring and says, what about you? Well, what about me? Instant conflict equals low frequency equals Archon battery. So you instantly become the energy source that's needed. Because of miscreation, these beings don't get to create, not the way we do, because we're complete. We have Father, Mother, and creation, all of us in our in this union, the Trinity. So we're creators. So they need us to create energy so that they can use it to keep this matrix running. And that's what this little thing that's wired into our flesh is all about. Keep us acting like batteries. Yeshua, who was the master, like I said, knew precisely how to hack this program. And he spoke in parables and he talked about things. And I learned about these things when I was really young. And I'm sure some of you did too. And some of them you may not even know. But you've heard other places where you, you know, you, you practice these things and they help you to keep from, you know, behaving in these ways. But it was baby learning. We would try hard to deny ourselves, fail a lot because it just always felt like we were getting shortchanged somehow or another because we weren't keeping those thoughts captive. And then we would feel guilty and shameful because here we are, you know, here we are. 
here we are <laughs> trying to serve Father, um, trying to be the people that he created us to be in, and we're falling short, which is like the underlying tone in the whole dogmatic Christian faith that you can't make it. Then we end up feeling guilty and shameful. Right back to the battery again. Low frequency that they can feed off of. And we are once again creating the matrix for them to have. Now, in this time frame that we're now awakened, we're learning this die to yourself thing on levels that are so much deeper. And there's more of a sense of ease with it. For we know who we are. Hugely different. We're not believing these lies anymore. We're not pathetic sinners who fall short of the glory of God and can never really attain it. We just keep hacking away and trying it. I mean, what a trip. How can you ever get to the kind of frequencies that we need for this end game, believing any of that nonsense? Doomed to failure, but rather we're just like our father. We have all that he has. We have everything that he is. Yeshua himself said, Give to them, Father, all that I have and all that you are, and even more than that, that they will do things that will surpass me. We have that. We know who we are. So once you know that, this idea of completely dying to this need to defend yourself is a lot easier, and it comes with an extreme amount of potency and power. So the reason why I'm bringing you this today is that I just went through 48 hours to 72 hours. Of, you know, I never really started counting. I didn't really realize it was happening because it was sneaking in that first day. Unbeknownst to me, really. Hellish emotions. Curled up on the floor. Tortured kind of emotions that I went through. And, you know, I was a little frustrated with myself once I realized I'd gotten in that spot because I haven't been there in ages and I was like, what is this? What am I doing here? But once again, in the end, it's always so that I can experience it, walk through to the other side, get refined to a better and higher level myself, and share it with you. Okay, so I walked through this once again. Um, I started going through these processes of, of having some personal things happening with me where I was like, I, I'm, I'm in constant service most of the time to everyone all the time. And then I just started getting these thoughts, well, I'm hurting. I have some lack in, in this situation right now. So where's my person? Who's, who's, who's going to give this to me? Because I'm like, that's the thought process. I didn't even realize it just kind of snuck in there. And it kind of, uh, it kind of, you know, ruminated and marinated, if you will, for a while before I realized it was happening. But physical symptoms, senses of doubt, not being able to sleep, just feeling this. And there was heavy energies. I don't know if the rest of you felt the last three days, but some really, really heavy energies and just, uh, just craziness kind of all over the place. So my realization is that in the midst of that, and once again, it was in that little tiny, tiny, quiet spot in your heart. And we've talked about that shift. And I mean, we're just talking, it's the tiniest little spot. And all I did in the midst of the night, last night, was just look at myself and what my thoughts were and what was happening. Even though I'm facing some pretty significant things that are very real. Very real. And at the end of the video, I'm going to be asking for some help because I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure what else to do. So I'm going to be reaching out to you all. Um, some significant things that are actually real and as real as this counter as this camera is sitting on. Not just things that we propose anymore that we dream up. I mean physical real challenges that are facing me at this moment. But even in that, I was like, what is this? This isn't, this isn't who I am. This isn't you who you are, Father. This is not where I have refined to. And then I realized what it was that I've been preparing for these proposed dangers, these proposed things that would be in my face and actually fleshly a reality for a long time. And I had it, you know, locked down. But these things have actually come into my face, tangible, where I can touch them and feel them. And the threats are real in this 3D matrix anyway. And it was just another little, you know, off kilter. I just got knocked off kilter a little bit and then moved right back into place. So anyways, where did all this sneak in, you know? It was just like, sheesh. But what it was is I wasn't guarding my thoughts. Um, I was letting little things here and there. And it was all centered in these feelings of not being able to handle it, not being able to do what I need to do, um, being overwhelmed by all these negative outside things that could be taking place and were taking place. I realized it's the same thing. 
It doesn't matter if I'm sitting in my living room in the house that I used to live in with everything I could possibly ever need, or I'm sitting out here in the desert, you know, in the middle of what is coming as a monsoon season. I don't really even know what that means, never experienced it, and I'm about to, with very little resources and um, with lots of battling going on, huge spiritual battles. I mean, you can ask Hawk or anybody else who's out here. We get a couple of days rest and then boom, you know, it comes. So... I guess the only thing I'm trying to say is that you really need to get in there and do that internal work and to understand who you are. The key, it's the key to everything. You've got to know who you are. And the only way to know that is to know who your father is. So if you're still struggling with it, go back to point one. You've got to get in there and know who your father is and how he feels about you and what, how he's made you. And then once you learn that, the rest of it, 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 is, it is much easier. It's much more simple. Um, just to let you know, in the midst of that thing that happened in the night, I actually turned the situation around. I dropped my flesh back in the ground, got out that shotgun, shot that, that ego, put it back in the ground, and then decided to completely negate myself and have nothing to do with my own needs and only minister to the needs of the other parties involved. And I won't share with you anything personal, but I can tell you right now, it was... <laughs> I can't explain to you the beautiful fruit that came from it. it. It is incredible, and I'm so grateful for another learning process. I'll probably do some more um, in-depth on it, as I said, like my tablet. Well, let me see. Let me see if I can turn it on. We'll see if it comes on. It has been sitting here charging for a minute or two. Oh, my goodness. Well, look at that. It's going to come on. How nice. Where am I? 11 minutes? Oh, that's not long. Cool. So as it turns on, then I'll be able to read to you some words from Father that he gave me. I posted them in Discord, but I'd like to read them, too, because... Um, it's uh, quite uh, awesome, as Father's words always are. I hope I can get them. We'll see. My Discord has been acting up on my tablet. I can get into it on my phone better, but that's kind of where I have it in copy and paste. You know what? I don't have to do that. I can look at it in my Gmail. It's easier. So we'll just wait for that to populate. Um, let's see here. I apologize for me having to search. I like to be prepared for this. Uh, oh, okay. Well, there you go. Okay, so I won't be doing that anyway, because guess what? Man, I'm, I was spoiled. I'd have to hotspot my uh, tablet to my phone. <laughs> I'm just used to having Wi-Fi. Whew, learning curve, people. Learning curve. My goodness. So there you go. I'm not going to read it. It is in Discord. I posted it in um, GW Truth Talk. Maybe I'll touch on it again later, but let me get my notes. Where did my notes go? There they are. Okay, let me make sure I am. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, first of all, I would like to say happy birthday to Abby. She's out here with us at uh, Raven Rock Ranch, and um, her mother made this incredible breakfast and brought it to our door this morning. We got to sleep in this morning. First time since we've been here. It was pretty nice. Um, Mario and I, and it was nice. But we get a knock on the door, and there's homemade southern biscuits gravy, fried sausages, and eggs. And it was just like, what? And it was funny because in the night, um, Father said to me that there would be confirmations throughout the day of, of what we shared with each other and the things that he gave me and this profound, you know, realization again on a deeper level. And that was one of them. Because to be honest with you, one of the things was getting at me was being without resources. Um, yeah, and food is one of them because... We've had some unfortunate things take place in finances that were not perceived. <laughs> so, yeah, they're right in our face. And it was just so beautiful. And um, by the way, thank you, Tina. That It was fantastic. I I can't say enough about it. And uh, Abby is Tina's daughter. It's her birthday. She's 14 years old today. These two kids are beautiful. I just love them so much. Um, I hope it's not a problem that I said her name. I didn't even think about that. If so, I'm really sorry, Tina. I won't say anything else until I get your permission. I didn't even think about that. I'm sorry. Maybe I won't even publish this. I don't know. I'll ask you first before I do. Anyways, I should have thought. But there's that. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm looking for work again. And I don't want to go back into the matrix. There's so much calling me here. The clarity and the energy out here is incredible. It is. I can't even explain it to you. And there's been so many things take place that I really don't want to be working. But at the same time, I'll do it if that's what's necessary. So I've applied for some work. 
we'll see what happens with it but we are in kind of a pickle at the moment so i'm going to throw my paypal link up and if anybody feels moved to help us out go for it if not no big deal no pressure i just i really didn't even want to do it i don't like doing that i don't my channel will never be monetized i don't i don't want that but at the same time i just felt kind of like this little pull to to reach out and see what happens so we're right on the cusp of, of not having to worry about that sort of thing anymore um at least within reason it's just that we're waiting for something to come through that's of course you know not coming through right when we need it to which is fine if nothing happens you know nothing comes in i will we'll figure it out but i just thought i would reach out so i'm going to put both the paypal link for myself and for uh, raymond rock in this video so if you feel moved to to you know donate to the the ranch as well because there are a lot of things going on i heard that we need funding for and we're all working as hard as we can but at the same time things are limited so it would be great so oh and i wanted to do a shout out real quick to um jeanette siri and damien who is kanate wolf for doing a video together um i just wanted to tell you both that just just the um the seeing you both you know because i love you both so much and also just the love that you shared there was just something about it that was integral it gave me the frequency i needed to further my this process that i just went through and to to collect these things for the good the greater good and then pour them back out to everybody so i really appreciate it and i love you both so much it was really cool to see you there so anyways i think that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and get this uh video going and hopefully it'll upload soon and um, just wanted to tell you I love you and I apologize for being kind of MIA like I said this has been I know Derek said that he's good that he's under the under the gun too it's just I think it's been everywhere in this region this region is filled with the most incredible frequency and the most amazing spiritual presence and I think that uh, the uh, negative side of this duality knows that and there's lots of oppression but the oppression comes and then christ rises it's it's been incredible so anyways i love you guys so much and i'm going to be putting out more content and stuff hopefully here pretty soon just going to start focusing on those things i hope <laughs> anyways you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon bye for now